I hope you're ready because this next piece is what sets Notability apart from all other note-taking apps. This is the power of this program and why it's so awesome. So what we're talking about is audio recordings. If you look at the top of your screen, you should see a microphone. If you tap on that microphone, it's going to start recording. No big deal, it's recording what I'm saying, pretty awesome. But if I take notes while I'm writing, and if I decided to make notes and work through, let's say a math problem, let's say three X plus two equals six. So to do this first, I'm going to subtract from both sides. And if you're a math teacher and this is not how you do it, humor me because this is how I learned to do it. So then I have three X equals four, and then X is going to equal four thirds. And there is my answer, okay? So if I'm done recording my audio, I'm going to tap on the stop button at the top. Once I tap on stop, it shows me my time that I have, and then you'll notice there's a little carrot off to the side of it, a little arrow pointing downward. If I tap on that, it's going to give me the option to play this back. If you notice, everything I wrote, it kind of went gray a little bit. Um, the opacity changed. What I can do is I've got different options on this bar. I can press play. I can change the speed of the play. That's what the 1X does. So I can change it to a little bit faster. One and a half, two, or I can slow it down, 0.7 or go back to normal speed. The 10 with the rotation would bring me back 10 seconds in the clip once I start previewing. Off to the right, I've got my time option that I can see, and I've got a speaker option where I can um, make it louder or softer. And then I've got some more options on the three dots that we'll talk about in a minute. So to play this back, I'm gonna press the play button. That microphone it's going to start recording. No big deal, it's recording what I'm saying, pretty awesome. But if I take notes while I'm writing, and if I decided, I'm gonna pause it, you can see that now it's getting darker, and as I wrote it, it's matching with that audio clip. Pretty cool. What makes this even better is I can use that blue circle on that playback to scroll to where I want to go back in my notes to listen and watch from. And if you're a math teacher and this is not how you do it, humor me because this is how I learned to do it. And you even have the option to tap on a portion of the screen and it will jump to that part in the recording. And then X is going to equal four thirds. And there is my answer. Okay, so if I'm done, re I hope you're like, wow, I didn't know that that could do that. And if you already knew it could do that, I hope you're still amazed because every time I do this, I'm still amazed. So I can tap on that back with the 10 and it's going to jump me back 10 seconds in my notes. So I can play it back again. On the far right hand side with the three dots on that mini playback bar, if you tap on that, you can choose to manage your recordings if you need to, and you can toggle on and off the note replay and the animation preview. So if I toggle note replay off, it's not gonna highlight my notes as I go. And then the next option, animation preview, if I toggle that off, it's not gonna show me what's waiting to be written. I've got to scroll and then watch all the way through to see it happen. So animation preview kind of shows the um, opacity version, as you see here. And then the note replay would turn that replay completely off. So then I'm just listening to the audio and I'm not watching that animation happening in my notes. I like to have both turned on because it's really neat. Just me. Then the next option you have up there at the top is manage recordings. 
Here you can go through and delete out a recording if you don't need it anymore. It's not going to delete out the actual notes. It's only deleting the recorded option. If I needed to continue on, I can come back up to my toolbar, tap on the microphone again, and it's going to start from where it just left off. So now I can write something else. And then this is going to get added into the recordings. So if I tap to view the recordings again, if I tap on those three dots, tap manage recording, you now see that there are two. And you can delete any piece you need to if they're in separate recordings. If it's one long recording, you can only delete the whole thing. You cannot take bits and pieces. So if you wanted to record your notes, you could save it as a note and send it to your students. You can also, if you're afraid students may not be able to watch it on their iPad, they may need to be able to access it other places. Maybe you want to save this also to YouTube as well. In that case, you've got to do a screen recording. And then with the screen recording, it would save everything that you're doing. This recording is only saving within Notability and the video portion of it does not exist. It's the note and the audio. So if you want a video like what I'm showing you here, you would use the screen record option. I hope you're amazed. This is my favorite part. OneNote doesn't do this. I'm probably gonna say that again in the OneNote video. Notability is awesome. I'm giving you two options though, okay? So that is audio recording and playback with Notability.